Hey guys, so I had a plan for this vlog, and that was to tell you about my computer and show you what I look at when I record these things, but that can wait until next week because I just had a very interesting encounter uh, downstairs in my condo. Uh, you see, I had to go to security to pick up a package from my fiance uh, that was actually in her name, and while I was exchanging my information with the security guard, he looked up at me and paused, and his face changed from just sort of confusion to a... Uh, So that's normally the face that I see when someone recognizes me. They change from just dealing with me to like this, Oh, I, I know who you are. I, I watch your show. Um, and it's actually a, it's a pretty cool experience. Uh, I've never had a real bad experience with being recognized. I can't say that it happens very often. You might have a misconception that I am famous or something. And, and people will call me a celebrity and famous. And I, I certainly don't feel that way. Yes, I've been hosting a television show on space for seven years and two years on YTV prior to that, but I most days just go about my day and don't get recognized. It honestly has maybe happened outside of conventions and places where I would expect to be recognized by my audience, but I mean, you know, out to dinner in a restaurant, uh, out to dinner at a restaurant, I should say, and a, and a, a waiter recognizes me or in line at a store and someone taps me on the shoulder that sort of thing has maybe only happened man a hundred times over the years that i think that's even a bit much maybe like 60 60 times it actually happens more often when i'm not in toronto if i'm up in ottawa or if i'm out in halifax as i was on vacation a few years back i got recognized in halifax probably five six times just being in another city um, maybe that's just because I don't go out very often in Toronto and stay inside and play video games. But uh, what I really wanted to communicate is that I've never had a bad experience being recognized. So if you ever recognize me and you're out there, you can come say hi to me. Although consider the circumstances is my one note. Because while I've never really had a bad experience being recognized and, and having an interaction with someone who wanted to express that they enjoy my work, I did have a circumstance that was a little weird and maybe ill-timed, and that is, I was in Cornwall, Ontario some years back for my grandmother's funeral, and the lady who had been hired to sing at the funeral, who did a great job, by the way, um, turned out to be a big Inner Space fan. Perhaps she's even watching these videos. Um, and, and she did spend a fair bit of time with me in the parking lot and, and came to say hello again, and, and while I understood, I mean, there's certainly no ill will from, from me to her. I'm just more than delighted that she enjoys my work. I was a little concerned for my family members and, and what they might be thinking with this lady constantly paying me attention. I mean, we were there to celebrate the life of my deceased grandmother, and I certainly wouldn't want to make an event all about me. Anyway, I guess that's all I have to say on the subject. Uh, if you do want to uh, interact with me in person, well, Fan Expo at the end of the month is a great opportunity. Space will be there all of the days over the weekend, and there's a special party. I'm not sure if tickets are still available, but you should look on Fan Expo's official website. Thanks for watching my vlog. See you in the future.